lovers, this is Liana with Wet Noses Pet Sitting and we are a pet sitting and dog walking company in Northern Colorado. And as part of our pet care tip series, I am here today with Amy with Trust Your Dog Training. And thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So do you want to tell us a little bit about you? Sure. Um, again, my name is Amy Craven. I'm with Trust Your Dog Training. I am a certified Karen Pryor training partner. I'm a dog trainer up here in Fort Collins, Colorado. I service Northern Colorado for behavioral problems, agility, and then in the summers I also run rattlesnake training for um, people who want to use positive reinforcement to train their dogs to avoid rattlesnakes instead of the traditional rattlesnake training. Um, but currently primarily focusing on in-home private behavior consultations and agility. That's quite the slew of things that you I know, it's, it's very too unique. much. It's great. <laughs> uh, so for the series, mm -hmm. we're asking everybody, what is the one thing that you believe all pet lovers should know? So I believe all pet lovers should know that there are so many benefits to getting out with your dogs and training with them. Agility just being one of them. I have so many people who show up to agility classes and they're like, oh my gosh, my dog would be so amazing mm -hmm. at doing agility because they see them running in the backyard and they're joyful and they're rambunctious and they jump over everything and then they get to class and they're like, okay, let's do this stuff. And then they realize that they need to build their relationship with their dog to get them to follow them around a course. So we spend a lot of time in agility classes just focusing on building that relationship relationship between mm -hmm. owner and dog so that the dogs will do what the owner asks them to do when they ask them to do it. Mm -hmm. So I think that if anybody could take one thing home from an agility class, it's love your dog, build your relationship with them so that you can share this wonderful experience with them and just have fun. That's awesome. Yeah. That's pretty great. Um, and I imagine, you know, there's all sorts of different types of dogs that can do agility. Mm -hmm. Like pretty much any dog can get out here and have a good time. Absolutely. You don't have to have a crazy border collie who's like sprinting over everything. Nope. I have Bernese Mountain Dogs come to class. I've got Yorkshire Terriers come to class. Mm -hmm. And then of course, you know, the usual herding dogs like Shelties and Border Collies and Australian Shepherds. But we have such a wide variety of dogs that do agility mm -hmm. and it's so much fun. And I have dogs that are old as 10 that start doing agility and as young as two months old come and do agility and we make sure that it fits the class for everybody. So what are some of the other benefits that people get in addition to forming a better bond with their dog. So yep. benefits of agility. So other benefits of agility, and we focus on this in the introductory class, um, or introduce you to this in the introductory class, is building your dog's strength and conditioning so that they can do this. As we all know and see if you ever watch any of the YouTube agility um, videos, you'll see dogs running really, really fast and doing really hard things that take a lot of strength to do. You know, running up a dog walk and down the dog walk and stopping on a dime and turning on a dime. It takes a lot out of the dogs. So we do introduce some strength and conditioning component to it. So your dogs are stronger and well conditioned so that when they're doing agility, they don't hurt themselves, which then expands into the rest of their life. So when you're out hiking with your dog and they go jump over a log, they don't you know, tear an ACL or something like that. Um, heaven forbid. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And things like the weave poles, which seem like not that mm -hmm. hard of a concept, but when they're moving fast, it takes a lot of coordination. Yeah. It's a lot of muscle skill. It, yeah. It's hard on their shoulders and on their hips. And it's really important to build that stamina and strength so that they can do it when we're asking them to do it at full speed. Mm -hmm. That makes yeah. sense. Well, those are great benefits. Agility is fantastic. I think everybody should try agility with their dog at some point. Me too. I, I mean, most dogs enjoy something about it, you know, and even if they never like go on to be crazy competitors or anything, they just enjoy the activity of getting out and spending time with their people. Absolutely. And that's, that's the big thing about the classes that I run. It's not, it's not just people who come here and they want to compete with their dogs. It's somebody who wants to spend more time with their dog and learn what their dog can do. And it's kind of neat, especially with Christmas coming up, you know, learning all of the tricks that you can then show off at the, the parties and <laughs> dinners. <true>. That's <laughs> true. Yep. Absolutely. There's so yep. many cool things that they just learn how to do that there are 
there are neat things in agility that you kind of teach as a side effect of needing to mm -hmm. learn. It's not just hop over something. There are commands that go with that and things that they have to learn that are great to be used at home. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. But it's awesome. Yep. Well, thanks so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Um, if people want to find out more about you, how can they get in contact yep. with you? You can find me at um, www.tydt.dog, D-O-G, um, or you can find me on Facebook at Trust Your Dog Training or on Instagram at Trust, Trust Your Dog Training. Thank awesome. you. Yeah. Uh, so guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see the rest of the videos in this series, just go ahead and subscribe and follow here. Um, and links for everything, including how to find Amy, are in the notes and stuff. So you can just take a look there. And thanks for watching.